Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to dive into creating a NavMesh agent for a tower defense game. With the old NavMesh agent being obsolete, we're going to explore using the new one. So let's jump right in. First, let's install the NavMesh agent package. Go to Window, then Package Manage. Here, ensure you have selected the Unity Register option. Now, type NavMesh agent in the search bar and hit Install. There may be times when your files aren't updated right away, like in my case. In such scenarios, simply save your project and restart Unity. Next, we're going to create an empty object and call it Game Manager. Then, we'll add a NavMesh Surface component to it. Now, as you can see, we have the option to select what we want to include before we bake. Baking, in this context, refers to the process of pre-computing something in order to speed up some other processes down the line. Essentially, we are pre-computing the NavMesh. For more control, I like to add a new layer. Let's name this new layer Walkable Enemy Terrain. Then, under the NavMesh Surface component, in the include layer parameter, we'll add only the layer we've just created. Now select the road you want the enemies to walk on and change its layer from default to the new one we just created. Let's go back to the NavMesh surface and simply click bake. This blue area you now see is where your enemies will be able to move. Let's add the NavMesh agent component to our enemy game object. Here, you can experiment with settings like speed, angular speed, acceleration, and so on. But for now, I'll leave them to default. Awesome! Let's now create an empty game object at the end of the first section of our path, which will serve as our first waypoint. Right click in the hierarchy panel and create empty object. Let's create a new script called enemy controller. So in your scripts folder, right click, create new C sharp script. Call it enemy controller and attach it to our enemy. Let's open up the script. To use the NavMesh agent, we need to include the Unity Engine.ai library, which is different from the libraries we get by default. We'll start by creating a public transform variable named Wait. And a private NavMesh agent variable named Agent. In the start method, we can get the NavMesh agent component using agent equals get component navmesh agent. Then we can set the destination using agent dot set destination and between the brackets we can give the position of the way. Now let's test it out. First we'll drag our waypoint in the field then hit play. As you can see, our character now moves towards the sphere. Your character might be trying to reach the exact point overshooting it. This is due to the stopping distance in the NavMesh agent. You can experiment with the value to get it right. However, let's take another approach. We'll go back into our script and in the update method, we'll add a condition to destroy the enemy when it gets close enough to the waypoint. So, when agent that remaining distance is less than 0.4 and agent has a path we'll destroy this game object after 0.1 this could be a way to remove enemies after they have dealt damage to the player back in unity let's test it out And yes, 
our enemy gets destroyed once they reach the sphere. It is a challenge. Try modifying the script to allow for multiple waypoints, with the enemy being destroyed only after reaching the final waypoint. Go ahead, pause the video and give it a shot. Welcome back! Adding intermediate waypoints gives you more control over your game. You could introduce new mechanics like an enemy firing an EMP when it reaches a corner or turning an enemy into a new spawn point in different tiles. First, we'll turn the transform waypoint into a list of transform waypoints. We'll also add a variable called current waypoint index and initialize it to zero. In the start method, we'll modify the set destination call to get the first element from the waypoints list. We'll also need to add a check at the beginning of the method to ensure that we have waypoints. So if waypoints.count equals zero, we log a warning, let's say there are no waypoints, and then we should return. Next, we should create a variable called agent stopping distance and set it to 0.3. In the update method, we'll first check if there is any path pending. And if agent that remaining distance is less than or equal to agent stopping distance. Inside this if statement, if current waypoint index equals with waypoints that count minus one, we'll destroy the object. This condition basically means if we are at the last element, we should destroy the object. Otherwise, we increment current waypoint index by one and set a new destination for the agent. Next, we should add our intermediate waypoints. I think you can do this by yourself. It's basically the same thing we did previously. Our enemy speed is a bit too fast. You can adjust that in the NavMesh agent component settings, or actually, in the enemy controller script, you can control the speed however you like. Awesome work! If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and check out my other videos on RPGs and state machines. Have a great day and happy coding.